What's going on, Jake? Hey, guys, how are you? Hey. How's this beauty looking? Outside's not terrible. Besides the driveway and the roof, that's all I see so far. All right, guys, you ready for the grand reveal? Let's do it. Oh, <laughs> oh my. It's going to hit you right here. It honestly smells like 5,000-year-old milk. You know what? Open floor plan. This is a four bedroom, one and a half bath, 1200 square foot house. The master's off the kitchen and there's actually two entrances, which is really weird. The remaining bedrooms and a full bathroom are on the right side of the house. What's up with the walls? Mm. Rot? Uh, Rotted walls? That is... There's probably a bathroom on the other side. It's it gonna be like, water damage. Looks like plasters. I think that's the first time I've ever seen a rotted wall. The kitchen's huge. Let's go look. Is that fur or is that dirt? That's uh, fur. No. It's dirty fur. Furry oh. dirt. That's sick. Is this possible to get rid of this? To open up the space? Absolutely. You think it's not obviously not loadable? No, no, we can just knock this right over. So if we were to redo this, get rid of this, and maybe run a peninsula or something right here, it's probably, what, 10, 12,000? In that area. Yeah, we shouldn't go over that, no. Oh, look at this room. This is the fur. Oh, my god. This is the fur room. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Fur time. No. Yo, you're walking it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on, stop it. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god. Oh my All right, god. Jake, what do you think, about 10,000? Yeah, it's it's ugly, but it's small. And what is that? Oh, those are termites. Oh. It's a pretty big bedroom. There's spider webs, there's fur, there's poo, there's feces, the bathroom, I don't even know what happened in there. It's a disaster. Okay, so oh, the wow. back, I can't tell if the yard's big or not. You can't see. All right, Jake, how far Let's back does this property got. go? Are you really going in there? We'll see. It goes all the way back there? That's where we're at. Honey, it goes about 20 plus feet. Oh my gosh. All right, so what do you think? It's, it's pretty bad. Uh, we got mold, we have termites, we got a bad roof. Driveway's bad. I think we're gonna be up around 90, 95. 90? Oh my gosh. 20 in the roof and the driveway alone. All right, so 90 to 95. They're asking 440. Let's just call it 100. That puts it at 540. Closing cost would be about 25, 565 break even. Yeah, it may be a mess, but it has potential for a big profit. Here's what I'm thinking, though. Honestly, anyone else is gonna walk in this house and they're gonna run right out. So I think we can offer less. Like what? 400? All right, Jake. All right, see if we can wrap this thing up. You want to lock it up for me? Sure, we'll I'll do. grab some bug spray. I'll call you later. See ya. All right, so you want to offer 400, huh? Based on that and how disgusting it is, like, yes. Let's see what happens. Hello? Hey, this is Tark. We spoke earlier about the place in uh, Cyprus. Yeah, hey, what's up? Not much, so uh, my wife and I are here, so we're willing to close the deal as fast as you want. We can do it all cash, but we can't go above 400. Uh, is there any wiggle room? You know with the amount of work that it needs, I don't think so. Can I get back to you? Yeah, that, that's fine. Okay, all right. All right, thank you. Oh my gosh, I need to go home and burn my clothes. After thinking it over, the seller countered our offer at $425,000, and we accepted. Even though we didn't want to pay above $400,000, this house still has a lot of potential. Now we need to turn this fur-ridden property into a family home. Let's get rid of this thing, and it's going to cost us about $0. I like it. Check this out. Is, it, is this a support post? Oh. Oh. Okay. Huh. okay. Maybe it was load bearing. The whole ceiling's sagging a little bit. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, my god. It was load bearing. So we're having a problem. Uh, me and Jake just figured out that we think this was load bearing, the ceiling sagging, and there's a post here and a post there. So those posts are actually holding up everything, and they're gone. When the previous owners opened up the wall, they cut right through the support post, and now the entire ceiling could come down. Yeah. All right, Jay, can you double check the attic so we can confirm that it actually is load bearing? Yeah, I'll go find out. All right, let me know. Maybe we just put a post here. Wait, what? And then we can run a countertop here. You've got to be kidding. Why? <laughs> it's going to look terrible. No, it won't if we did a nice big post right here. 
I cannot put a post there. Well, let's see what Jake says. Are we lucky or are we unlucky? We're uh, unlucky. It's load bearing. Okay, question. Can we just put a post right here? Yeah, sure, from the ground to the ceiling. And that's gonna look terrible. So, we, we are, like, are so lucky to even have a kitchen this big in this size house. The post could be here. We could do a design on the post. We can run the countertop here, and this will be open. It's so high, it blocks the entire kitchen. Well, I mean, honestly, the kitchen's so closed off, it's so big. Imagine if it's wide open. It's gonna cost, what, a couple thousand dollars to add a beam across the kitchen ceiling? For the beam, in between two and three, yeah. So worth it. How much for the post? $25. Honey. I vote for no post. Really? We can't do a post? No, it's gonna look terrible. For sure? Yeah. All right, Jake. Let's right. spend a couple thousand, make the wife happy, it'll be all open. All right. It'll look Bro a million times it. better. Okay. It's a lot better in here. Hey, what's Jake. Up? Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, bud? Looks better with that weird, funky wall out. Much, much, much better. So let's talk layout. Okay, is there anywhere else we can put the washer dryer besides right here? Nowhere. Not, not the closet? It would take a lot of work. It's a slab. We'd have to trench for plumbing the whole way. Thousands. The garage? No, no, it's not big enough. Honey, I said we put the washer and dryer right there. Looks like we don't have much of a choice. Hopefully, buyers don't mind. Mm -hmm. I feel like the kitchen will look a lot better if we close off this door. I think it's totally pointless. Okay, what do you think that'll cost? A couple hundred bucks? Hey, it won't be too bad. Maybe four or five hundred. Okay, so you want to do that? Yeah, the kitchen, I think it'll look a lot more open. All right, now let's figure out this bedroom. So there's two entrances to this bedroom. Right, it's kind of weird. It's weird. I feel like it'd be much better to close this door off as well, do a nice peninsula over here, and then just have this be the entrance to that bedroom. Okay, so I definitely feel like that's a better layout, and the kitchen will have a lot more space too. All right, Jake, what do you think it would cost to do that? I think we'll get it done for 1500 bucks. 1500 1500 Yeah? Well worth it. OK, looks different. So it's a lot better now that we closed off the door for the bedroom and got rid of the other door. It just creates a much bigger, better kitchen. We created a private master bathroom. For what it is, it's, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I feel like now it's more functional because look how big the closet is. All right, you want to talk design? You got it. So, I was thinking we could do something different. And I know we don't usually do brown, but I saw this and I loved it. This subway. So we'll keep it simple with white cabinets. Simple quartz, but I think this could be really pretty. So you're good with that, Brown? I mean, I guess I'm as good as we can be. I've never done it before. Okay, well, since you're you're good with that, I was thinking this. Okay. For the flooring. I mean, check it out. That could be the flooring for the kitchen and this for the rest of the house. We've done it before, similar, in other flips. I know. And people love it. I know, it came out better than I thought. So let's go with it. I think it's a different design, it's unique. The color scheme is a little different, and I think it's gonna be really cool. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. You know, we've done a lot of houses together and never went anyway, so I love it. All right, perfect. It's looking good. It is. Hey. Hey, what do you think? Oh my gosh. Obsessed with the tile. You nailed it. Good job, honey. It looks awesome. It's like so unique, but I feel like this kitchen definitely needed this boldness. So check it out with the backsplash. Oh my God, that's gonna be awesome. It looks amazing. So last thing, I'm thinking instead of doing the normal like chrome or brushed nickel pull handles, let's do oil rubbed bronze. As long as it's not brass. No, not brass. Bronze. I think bronze look awesome here because it's going to bring out all the brown tones. Okay, I'm going to finish. Don't step on my tile. You stepped on my tile. Sorry. <sighs> okay, what's going on with this bathroom? We tore these walls down. Oh Got my. Got a lot of termite damage. Whoa. Termites, That's termites everywhere, yep. <laughs> we also had some serious plumbing damage. We pulled the tub out and the toilet out and check this out. I actually have a few pieces I can show you. Look, this is wow, what the drain lines. That. How was that even like functioning? That's it, it oh. really it wasn't. It wasn't. That's nasty. Yeah, they were they were torn up. 
What do you think it's gonna cost to fix all this? For what we see right now, we're 2,500 bucks or so should get it, but let's just hope we don't see any more plumbing issues along the way. It's super important that we get this bathroom together because it's the common bathroom for the house. And since it's way bigger than the master bathroom, it's really important that it stands out. With the master, we're going with a simple, clean design because it's a small room. But if we're gonna sell this house, this bathroom needs to be a showstopper and we have a long way to go. We have a normal, nice bathroom. Now we have a double vanity. We have a normal shower. It looks perfect. Okay, so what kind of design do we have? Okay, so I brought two options. Okay. One, we can go with more of the traditional whites and marbles. Or two, we could go with more of the look of the kitchen and bring in the browns. So basically what I was thinking for this look is doing the majority of the entire shower in this. It totally matches the kitchen. Okay. And then doing the same flooring as the kitchen. Mm -hmm. They'll tie it all together. And then I thought this was cool just to do like a strip of it, kind of going up top into the window and back around. This looks really pretty with the floor tile like we're doing in the kitchen because it has some blue in it. Okay. So, I mean, check it out. It just kind of gives it like something different, a little sparkly. So which one do you prefer? You like these two or those two? I personally think of just doing something totally different with this house and do the brown subway with iridescent mosaic band. Okay, I actually, I like this one better than that one. Okay, and so then we'll just do the exact same cabinets and counters that we're doing in the kitchen. Great idea. This house is really coming together nicely. Well, the house looks really cute. Yep. Hopefully we get a lot of people through today. Home sweet home. It is such a cute house. I mean, this is probably one of our biggest transformations ever. And the kitchen flooring, I'm so glad that we carried it into the bathroom. Okay, it's about time. I'll put the signs up. Hey, how's it going? How are you guys doing? Good. What's your name? Island. Do you live in the neighborhood or are you guys looking to buy? We are local and we're looking to buy. So I'll tell you a little bit about the house. Uh, four bedroom, one and a half bath. It's about 1,200 square feet, listed at 629.9. So love to get your opinion. Take a look around. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love those floors. Oh, look, it matches the backsplash. I really like that. Well, I like the size of the kitchen. That's and the finishes look really nice on the cabinets. It's a decent sized bedroom. I guess this is a master. Oh, this would be perfect for mommy, huh? What is in here? That's the bathroom. Oh, it's not a master bath. Why no top? I don't know. And this is just awesome. I can just sit here and cook dinner yeah. while you guys watch TV. Oh, wow, look at that tub. This is beautiful. Look, you both will have your own sink. I think this is perfect for the <laughs> two of you. Oh, look, Eileen, just like the kitchen. Yeah. You're so pretty, huh? Yeah. It's got a oh, nice patio. Oh my gosh. gosh. Our dogs would <laughs> love this backyard. What'd you guys think? Nice. Loved it. Loved. Yeah. Loved it. Is this the master? Yes. Bedroom, and it only has a half bath? Correct. Correct. Okay. Well, if you have any questions, just give us a call. Okay. All right, guys, have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.